the first airport movie, we saw the back of a 747 blow up by a bomb. In the second airport movie, Airport 75, we saw the 747's nose bobbed by a smaller aircraft. Now you thought that was the end of airport movies, right? Wrong. In Airport 77, we'll see not the front, not the back, but an entire 747 plunge right into the Atlantic. The cast and crew of Airport 77 don't seem too shaken up by the plane crash. They're too busy preparing their sets, rehearsing their lines, and enjoying their noon break. Today's shooting takes place at a high-security air traffic control center somewhere on the Atlantic coast, which is actually a top-secret North Island naval airplane hangar. A patched-up veteran of disaster movies, George Kennedy, describes the plot. Um, if you had a privately owned 747 owned by Jimmy Stewart flying from Dulles Airport to somewhere else, and it has multi-million dollars worth of our treasures on it, and it's hijacked. The people on the airplane are put to sleep with a sleeping gas. The plane is flying low over the Caribbean um, Sea to avoid radar detection. It hits one of these oil derricks that sits up out of the sea and crashes, but doesn't break apart. It settles under the water onto a sandbar where it's underwater. Nobody can get out, but nobody can get in. Airport 77 is expected to cost Universal Studios up to $10 million. And one quick glance at the cast lineup tells you why the film is so expensive. Jack Lemmon, Lee Grant, and Brenda Vaccaro are just a few of the stars entangled in the plane mishap along with this gentleman, who just happened to walk on the set with a somewhat familiar stroll. It's adventure. And this is nothing new, you know. They, they call them disaster films now. I don't know who put that tag on them, but uh, uh, the, we, we, we've been making pictures like this for as long as I can remember. I remember when I was working for MGM, they made a picture I forget, it wasn't called Earthquake, I think it was called San Francisco or something, mm -hmm. with Tracy and Gable and a whole bunch of them, but it was this terrible catastrophe of the earthquake that destroyed San Francisco. So this, uh, this, this is nothing new. We, movies have been doing, as I say, been doing it for years. Publicity officials would not divulge whether Mr. Kennedy or Mr. Stewart will survive this epic, but chances are their characters, like the movie itself, will remain afloat. Janine Tartaglia, TV8 News, San Diego.